town school district meeting. This is uh, not as we would normally have a uh, pre-town meeting. This is a town meeting, and our votes will will matter tonight. And the agenda is uh, has three articles, but we should begin with our salute to the flag. If you would join me here, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. Foundation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, as usual, I will read the article and then if someone would move it and second it, we can discuss it and then we can vote on it. And Article 1 says, shall the voters... Do I need to make a motion to elect you for moderator? No, I'm, my uh, term. term is... Uh, for the, the year. year. That's correct. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> but if you wanted to replace me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bad chance. No, I forgot it was for year. Perfect. All right. Article 1. Shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve the grant of an option agreement from the Berlin School District to the Town of Berlin, which gives the Town of Berlin the right to purchase the real estate upon which the Berlin Elementary School is currently located from the Berlin School District or its successors in interest? for the purchase price of $1 in the event the property is no longer used for educational purposes. Ooh, Move the question. Uh, so moved. And second. Uh, someone should explain it. <laughs> so thank you all for being here. Um, so when we met with the select board, um, there were a few options out there um, on how to best to protect our land and our building here in Berlin um, with the new forest merger that's happening. And there are many pieces of these easements that are already protected in Act 46, but um, with the Articles of Agreement, they can be changed in future years by the new merged board, of which there's only two members from Berlin on that board. So we felt it best to have another layer of protection um, in the best way that the state would allow us, which was not many options. Um, so we took advantage of the options that we did have with the easements um, to have another layer of security that we could possibly have for our building and our land here in Berlin. Um, so. We wanted to protect um, that the town would have the first right of refusal for the dollar to buy back the land from the WCUUSD um, board in the event that it, there's not a school here in the future. Questions for Vera or comments? Yes? <clears throat> you feel that you have been assured by the state that this layer of protection that we're about to vote on is acceptable and not in conflict with the, the, the letters of agreement or the articles of agreement that they are dictated. So what I can um, say I'm assured of is that our legal counsel, which is Scott Cameron, um, is comfortable with these documents the way they are. As far as the state, <laughs> I can't say what they will do or in future years. Um, I'm sure some of you read the article that was in the Times Argus, which the state is saying that they own all the schools in the yes. state. So um, with that being said, I, I honestly, I can't say what the state will do in future years. All I can do is what is um, best for us here and now with having this easement. And so that's, that's the clarification. Things to clarify. So your conversation has been with Scott Cameron, correct, as opposed to any representative of the state, correct. Okay, and you really had no other option. I just wanted to clarify that I was understanding it correctly. Yes. And yes, I did read the article in the Times Argus, and my, as I read it, that was Judge Mello's statement. statement. Um, and have you pursued that? As others feel the same way. But you're um, not aware of anybody challenging that statement? I have not. 
with this apparently would give us the opportunity to challenge it uh, if the if the occasion arose. Correct. And just for note, I do think Berlin is in a little bit of a different situation than some of our other um, schools in our district because the land was donated from a private resident Cla Clarence of Berlin. Pike. Correct. Mm -hmm. um, so being that the land was donated to the school district, I do think um, we are definitely in a different situation than some of the other public school properties in our district. Not to take a lot of time, I'm sure others have questions, but <coughs> is, are you aware of a deed for the school property? Um, the actual original deed, we had a copy of that at our May 8th meeting so when is, we met with the select board. Reported. Yes, it is. Yep. So, I don't, yeah. so it seems in conflict with the statement that it's owned by the state. Exactly. Okay. Which we, we all had a copy of that um, deed at our May 8th meeting. And it's it's Clear. clearly on there. It is to the Berlin Town School District that he donated the land to. Excellent. Thank you. Chairman. Um, I want to give the school board credit for pursuing this and trying to protect the interests of the town. Um, the select board did meet with the school district and as I recall, <coughs> was supportive of this effort as well. So I will be voting yes on this article. Other questions or comments? Yes, ma'am. Were there any additional restrictions listed on the deed? Like, you know, any forecasting out and potentially in the future? No? It just states, don't donate it for the purpose of a school. What that means if it's no longer school, I don't know. That's mm -hmm. for a lawyer to decide, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which Further. Is, yes. Clear. Which is why my hope would be that regardless of, my hope would be it would always be a school, an education um, place. In the event, in the future years, something happens, my hope would be it would always come back to the Berlin residents to make that decision and have a vote on what happens to this building and land from that point on, which is why I strongly feel like what we have done can only help in that process. Any other questions? Are you ready for the question itself? Let me read it again. Shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve the grant of an option agreement from the Berlin School District to the Town of Berlin, which gives the Town of Berlin the right to purchase the real estate upon which the Berlin Elementary School is currently located from the Berlin School District or its successors and in interest for the purchase price of $1 in the event the property is no longer used for educational purposes? All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. The article passes. Article 2. Shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve the grant of an easement from the Berlin School District to the Town of Berlin, which gives the Town of Berlin the right to, in perpetuity, to use the real estate and buildings owned by the Berlin School District or its successors and in interest for certain public purposes as specified in the easement deed? Comments? Um, so that was created to um, make sure that we could still host the town meeting days here, um, other special events that the town has, um, the emergency, <coughs> emergency um, management to, for this to be a shelter. So those are some of the pieces that were included in that. I neglected to ask if someone would move it. Thank you. Uh, second, all right, forgive me. I'd like to also point out that some time ago, <coughs> the, um, the the school board, the then school board, opened up the facilities for public use by Berlin residents, recognizing that it was a, an asset of the town, and that, that use has been maintained. I think that's what's represented in this in this article. Good. Any questions? Any comments? Yes. Good evening. I'm, uh, good afternoon, the Emergency Management Committee. I uh, hope you don't, don't mind me saying. Uh, I appreciate the school board recognizing the importance of the school as a possible uh, shelter and continuing that forward. Hopefully, it won't be needed, but it's nice to know that we have it if it's needed. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Anyone else? Are you ready for the question? I'll read it again. 
Shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve the grant of an easement from the Berlin School District to the Town of Berlin, which gives the Town of Berlin the right in perpetuity to use the real estate and buildings owned by the Berlin School District or its successors in interest for certain public purposes as specified in the easement deed? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. The motion passes. Article 3, shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve an amendment to the current lease between the Berlin School District and the Berlin Volunteer Fire Department, which extends the term of the lease from 50 years, ending August 31st, 2039, to 99 years, ending August 31st, 2088. Who will move it? Jeremy, and second. Discussion? Does anybody have any questions? Any questions? Maybe it's self-evident. That uh, <coughs> little history, that uh, lease was created by the then school board uh, of that lot uh, for the purpose of locating the fire department and police department um, close to the school. Um, and. Unfortunately, it didn't work out that way, but the fire department is an important asset to have <laughs> near a school building. <clears throat> um, and at the time, 50 years seemed like a long time. Not so much now, so uh, I certainly support the extension of that lease. Good. Any other comments or questions? Ready? I have a question. Yes, Bob. Bob, morning. Um, was consideration given to transferring the property? In other words, not just leasing it, but transferring it um, to the town so the town could then own it and, and lease it to the fire department. Yes, and that conversation is actually still happening. But um, being that we were here tonight voting on these other things, we wanted to extend the lease simultaneously as we are still working on the town of Berlin buying or deeding that 1.28 acre, acres. or Subdividing it and deeding it. Correct. Right. So that is still ongoing. That's still moving forward in the path that <clears throat> that portion of that land would still be deeded over to the town of Berlin. Unfortunately, right. it didn't happen before our June 30th deadline before the new board starts <laughs> on July 1. So it will be something the new board will handle, which I am a representative on the new board along with George Gross. Um, they're, they're well aware that this is still happening um, for that land to be deeded over it just didn't get done prior to the transition of the boards. But at least um, what we could do from this point is extend the lease for the 99 years. Great. It's mentioned in the option agreement number four. That's why we have an extra copy of the option agreement if somebody wants to take it home. Number four. The option option agreement. Sort of right. yeah. uh, any other comments or questions? Yes. <coughs> Chris Winters, I just want to echo something that Jeremy said earlier. I want to thank this school board for continuing to work in the face of your ultimate extinction that's impending here and doing what's best for the town and for stepping up when, when people really needed you to. So thank you for that. I was just curious if anyone from the Agency of Education or uh, State of Vermont Attorney General's office had any input on any of these three articles. Did you ask for it and did they give? Give you any feedback, or did you work just with the attorney, our own attorney representing the board and the town in doing this? So we worked directly with Scott Cameron. However, um, I do believe because Callis and Berlin were simultaneously working on these documents, of which Callis um, has continued to move forward as we did with these easements. I'm not sure if their board spoke to anybody at the AOE. Um, I do know that they ended up using a different lawyer for their easement documents. Um, they did. They chose not to use Scott for for them. Um, Scott did not mention if he actually reached out to either one of them. So I really don't have an answer for that question, Chris. I'm sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Other questions, comments? Are you ready for the question? Here we go. Shall the voters of the Berlin School District approve an amendment to the current lease between the Berlin School District and the Berlin Volunteer Fire Department, which extends the term of the lease from 50 years, ending August 31st, 2039, 
to 99 years ending August 31st, 2088. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. And the motion passes. We don't have a other business, any other business article here, so I'm afraid that the only motion I can accept is one to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Chairman. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Have a good evening. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <laughs> you.